What's up boys, Shane here, and today I'm going to be doing a Battlefield video, something I haven't done for a while. Um, but the main reason I'm doing this is because it seems like there's a lack of people in the Battlefield community who are actually willing to criticize what the developers are doing and be critical of what's going on. And I feel like if, they're, if nobody says this kind of stuff, uh, this is going to kind of become the standard for Battlefield games in the future, and I just really don't want that. So I was watching a Jack Frags video recently, and uh, he was talking about the Tides of War DLC system, the great free Tides of War DLC system that will give us loads of content to enjoy for months to come after the game's done. And when going through this, all the way through, what's, all the way through probably May, because the first chapter is December, January, the second one's January to March, so then it would make sense that the third chapter is March to May. We are getting two new multiplayer maps, two new modes, and then Firestorm and Co-op, two things that most likely should have been included at launch. Now, that being said, these are all free. However, this is not nearly enough content. I was thinking that this sort of um, Tides of War system was going to go through the war and bring us multiple maps from different times throughout the war, but it seems like what they're doing is they're just bringing in random multiplayer maps and then now they're trying to just market an entire chapter around Firestorm, the Battle Royale. Now this is not a s sequential way to go through the war, is by bringing in a different mode for the entirety of a Tides of War time. Like, they're bringing in Rush and then Squad Conquest. And those are the, two, th those are the new multiplayer experiences that are coming between January and March. That is not a sequential way to go through the war. They said that a lot of the reasons why we didn't have maps from later in the war was because they're going to come in ties of war, but for the first six months of the game, we get two new maps. Granted, we do get the Battle Royale, but a lot of people don't even want to play the Battle Royale. A lot of people don't want to play co-op. People buy Battlefield for its multiplayer. And it just angers me that they're trying to change it. And in a different video, I'm going to bring up why they shouldn't even release this game or ba future battlefields ever in the fall or November or October or whenever. They should release them in the late spring. I just, I'll go into that in a different video because I'm just getting heated with stuff in the Battlefield community because I really do like Battlefield games. When I went back and played some Dragon Valley right now, I'm just kind of having fun. I'm just chilling. There's not much to do. I'm just running around with the sniper on Conquest and it's just a fun, it's just fun. Like there isn't really much else to it. And that's one of like the 24 maps in Battlefield 4. Like, how does a game from 2013 have that much content? And then a game in 2018 can't even muster more than 8 multiplayer maps at launch? Like, I would rather pay $110 for Battlefield 4's 24 multiplayer maps, like 15 modes, there are like 100 plus weapons, than pay $60 for the crap that we're getting right now from Battlefield 5. And it, it's just absurd what, what they're doing with this because they're realizing that the game isn't that as popular as they were thinking it was going to be, so they're cutting content from the DLC because they don't have enough developers to work on it, and they're probably already working on the next Battlefront project. It's just absurd, man. Like, the thing with having that paid DLC system was it was guaranteed, we were guaranteed 16 multiplayer maps from DLC in previous Battlefield games. Battlefield 1! You think they would have continued to pump out multiplayer maps if we didn't pay them for it? There's absolutely no way. And just the fact that, oh, this system, man. And just not even to mention the fact that Firestorm, something that was a main attraction for a lot of people to the Battlefield franchise, it was going to, quote unquote, bring a lot of new people into the franchise, is what DICE was claiming, and EA were claiming, telling their shareholders, and... Firestorm isn't coming until five months after launch, or four months after launch. And I get that it's not ready, but come on, man. Like, why Why do they even think that they could release this game in October, let alone November? All this content should be in the game at launch. You shouldn't launch a game like 60% done and then have the rest of the content come out. Oh no, but it's okay because it's free. You think this game's going to be able to compete with Red Dead Redemption 2, with Black Ops 4? I mean, it might be able to compete with Fallout 76 because that game is not looking too hot either, but 
I don't know, man. I just don't get what's in the mind of the developers that they think they can pull this kind of shit off without anybody getting mad about it. And all the Battlefield YouTubers, oh, it's all good, it's all happy, it's all free DLC. It's like, come on, man. Do you really want to watch this franchise die just because you're on EA's payroll? It's honestly just a joke, man. Like, if I'm being honest, I'll watch Jack Frags' videos no matter what, but Level Cap, Westy, all those guys. Like, Jack Frags, when he posts any game, he gets a ton of views. Westy, Level Cap, if Battlefield dies, they die. So I don't really get their idea that they can just be silent about this. Like, Level Cap's a little critical of it, but I mean, not nearly as critical as it used to be. I don't know what happened. Yeah, and it's just been over the last few months that he hasn't got as critical. Maybe it's because he's back on EA's payroll again, because he's a game changer again. But it's like, seriously, man, I just don't get what the whole idea with this is. And it's, I, I, I'm going to go through it one more time. I'm just going to read through the article quickly. So first, first chapter, we get the Panzerstorm map, which is basically just a tank map in Belgium. Um, next, we get... A new single-player war story, The Last Tiger, which should have been in the game at launch. Are we now launching campaigns as DLC? Like, I get having additional missions, but this was like featured in trailers, man. And it's coming after launch. I Granted, it's only a few weeks after launch, so it's not that big of a deal, but why not just include it at launch? Something less for people to complain about. Next, they're adding a practice range as DLC. Interesting. Would like to have that at launch too. Like, two steps forward, two steps backwards. <laughs> Literally, man. Then, we get more vehicle customization, whoop de doo Not at launch, that's cool. And we're gonna get weekly events to unlock. Oh, weapon skins, woohoo. Great, probably have to pay for some of them too, that's gonna be awesome. Next, chapter two, lightning. So that's it. That's it until January. That's all we get. That plus the base game. Chapter two, lightning strikes, January through March. So see, chapter two of Tides of War comes with a focus on vehicle warfare and rapid infantry movement. Why are we focusing on gameplay types in Tides of War? Why aren't we focusing on events of the war? That's literally the title of it, is the different tides within the war how the war progressed. And yet, we're focusing on different game modes. We're focusing on Rush, and we're focusing on Squad Conquest. Like, no, get rid of those. I get that they're not at launch, whatever. Bring us two grand operations of different events during the war that happened during 1940. Have the invasion of France, maybe. Or like, just, I don't even know, man. And we don't get any new maps during this time. Zero. Zero new maps for a two month event. That's absurd. Chapter three, Trial by Fire, which starts in March. And Battle Royale comes at this one, so we don't have to focus at all on the war. We can just focus on different game types. It really seems like the developers don't even want to make a World War II game. It really seems like they don't even want to make a World War II game. They're just trying to make a fun game. And to that I say, why are you making a World War II game, man? It seems like you don't even care about the history, frankly. Like, honestly. I, I just don't get it. They have one new map. They have Tides of War and, the, and they have Firestorm, my bad. And then they have one new map. And Firestorm's, what, 64 players, I think? I, I'm not sure if that's uh, officially announced yet, so don't take my word for it. But then we get a Grease map. Join a massive aerial invasion allied. So that, that does sound cool, but we don't get until March. So have fun waiting for a cool another grand operation. And there's going to be more chapters, obviously, or who even knows if the game's dead by then. They might not even release more chapters. But it's just, it's absolutely crazy, man. That's it. That's all the content pretty much through May, probably. So get used to getting bored real fast and get used to buying some other games. Or just focusing on real life, because there really isn't too much, man. Now, this is probably one of the longest videos I've done in a while. I just had to get some stuff off my chest, man. I haven't made a Battlefield video in a long time. Probably a couple weeks. Which, from, for this channel, is a lot. I've been focusing on Black Ops 4, which has been doing pretty well on my channel. And I was just fed up with the Battlefield franchise. But, you know, I really still love the games. And I couldn't just see 
can just see the developers do stuff like this, man. Like, I can see them just do this to the game. So I decided to just make a video on it ranting. If you guys have similar opinions on this, similar beliefs on this, share this around. Um, try to get some other people to uh, voice their opinions on the game. Uh, tweet at your favorite YouTubers, comment on their videos, saying stuff like this, man. Like, how are you putting up with this? Why are you not calling out their de the developers? Uh, yeah. Anyway, boys. That's it for this video, guys. Tell me what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you guys could support this video, man, I'll start making some more Battlefield videos as well. But again, boys, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.